the holiday season is upon us. And this week in the United States, we celebrate the holiday of Thanksgiving. Now, it's a time to be thankful for all that we have and for all that we are. But you know what? <laughs> Don't you want to do that every day anyway? That's what gratitude's about anyway. So what I'm here to talk to you about today is the fact that starting now, you're going to be eating a lot of stuff. Probably stuff that you don't usually eat. Stuff that may or may not be real food. But you know what? It's part of the celebration. You're there with your family. I want you to enjoy yourself. And I want you to be mindful so that you do get to enjoy yourself while eating foods that let you feel good. So, what's important to know is the father of modern medicine, Hippocrates, he taught us to let thy food be thy medicine and let thy medicine be thy food. Because the fact is the food acts as hormones, as messengers inside your body. That 80% of your health of the chronic conditions, the diseases, the cruddy feelings, 80%, they come from the food you eat. Only 20% is coming from your genes. Plus, of course, stuff that's in our environment. And the fact in the United States is, even though we spend more on healthcare than any other country in the world, we have more obesity, we have, uh, we spend 95% of what the world spends on prescription drugs, and also prescription drugs turns out to be one of the leading causes of death in the world these days, which is not at all to say there's never a place for prescription drugs. For maternal deaths and infant deaths, the United States has the highest rate of deaths than any industrialized country, and we rank even higher than some third world countries. So what's going on? Well, you know what? It's about lifestyle. In lifestyle, you want to feel good. You want to be happy. You're here to enjoy your life. And going on all these crazy diets out there that say, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, you can't eat this, you can't eat that. Well, the fact is, Everybody's different. Everybody's unique. So the only way to optimize your health, to reduce the inflammation that you gotta be hearing so much about today, because that's what causes the illness, the conditions, the pain, the discomfort, the upsetness. Inflammation is manageable, it's reversible, it's controllable, and you do it by paying attention to your lifestyle. So, I found this unbelievable book, The Inflammation Spectrum, by Dr. Will Cole. And why is it unbelievable? Because he talks about the eight different systems in your body. He provides you with a survey to determine where the inflammation is in your body. And he tells you lifestyle, the foods that could be hurting you, and how to find out exactly which foods are hurting you according to each specific organ system. He doesn't do one blanket diet for everybody. And besides everything else, he gives you recipes and they're really great recipes, because what would be the point of finding out how to help yourself feel better if you're not going to enjoy your eating, your life? Because food is a really big, important part of enjoyment. Now, you can get a copy of this book and the audiobook for free. Yes, you are that right, for free, over at this link. See, Audible's offering you a free trial that includes a free audiobook. 
you have 30 days to check out the system. And if you like it, you can keep going. Oh, here's the other thing I really, really like about this book. And many of the books on Audible. It comes with a PDF download. It has all the important surveys. It even has all the recipes. So everything that you can't just interpret from listening to on the audiobook, you got it right there in print. Well, if you print it out, you got it right there in print. So I wish you great enjoyment through this holiday season and for the whole rest of your life. And I urge you to take control over what's going on for you because you know what? Diseases and conditions, they don't suddenly appear. They've been forming for a minimum four, five, ten years. When I had that brain tumor, the surgeon said, well, this has been growing from five to ten years. That's how your body works. And some things actually begin when you're only in your 20s. Life is something to enjoy. I'm Allie Beerman, and you'll find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.